Ariel and I'm here with Scully Designs for our 365 day project. I missed lunch today and I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. So I thought of a great project where I can make myself a snack in the microwave quick and easy. Today we're going to make potato, you may say potato, microwave bags. That's right. I got lots of baked potatoes in the fridge, so we're going to make a little quick bag. I can heat it up in the microwave, and soon I'll no longer be hungry. So let's see what we'll need for this project. We're going to need two types of fabric, a focal print, I picked out this nice little rooster print, and a liner fabric, where I picked out a matching red. You're also going to need this special... 100% cotton batting made specifically for the microwave. Now all your fabrics and threads for this project should be 100% cotton to prevent any microwave fires. Using the batting, even though it's made specifically for the microwave, you want to make sure to still check it every two minutes in your microwave because we don't want any fires and anything regardless what it is can catch fire in the microwave and all the wattages are different so you just want to check and make sure so never longer than two minutes all cotton fabrics and threads for this project you will also need your ruler to measure out your fabrics pins to pin it up as you go I'm trying to reach over and grab this stuff. Scissors, your rotary cutter. A safety pin to help you pull some of your fabrics through. And your mat. So let's get started. Let me move this aside. Now, you're going to take your batting and both of your fabrics and you're going to measure them out to 12 inches by 15 inches and cut them with your mat, your rotary cutter, and your ruler. If you don't have a rotary cutter, just go ahead and use your scissors. Now I've already cut mine out. I was a little short on batting, so mine is going to be a little bit smaller, but really 12 by 15 is a good size for you to use. You're also going to want to cut out just with your focal print a small 2 by 6 inch piece and this is going to be used for our strap to hang it up so you can keep it nearby in the kitchen after you're done making it. So I've already cut out my pieces. Once you cut out your pieces you're going to line them up and you're going to put your microwave safe batting down first. Then you are going to put down whatever liner fabric you chose and get that lined up really nice and neat there. Then you're going to take your focal um, prints. Now if you're using a printed pattern you want it facing up along your 12 inch line so that when you hold it up this would be your 12 inch line and this would be your 15 inch line. You want your print facing upward that way because otherwise when you go to do it later and you sew the bag together you'll end up having your print upside down or sideways so you want to make sure when you're cutting it to have your your focal print when you're holding it the 12 by 15 standing upright the way you want it to look so we're going to take that focal print your liner piece you want the side that you want facing up, so your right side upward, and then you're going to put your focal print facing downwards with your right side in and your wrong side facing out. So that's how you're going to line them up. Hopefully that all made sense. You're now going to go ahead and pin along the, the two shorter sides and we're going to make a quarter inch seam just straight stitch, back stitching to start and to finish to secure on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this up and we'll be back. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've sewn a quarter inch seam on both my short sides. 
Now I'm simply going to flip my two right side. So you'll see now you'll have the batting in the center, the lining on one side, and then your focal print on another side. Voila! So like I said, mine's going to be looking a little smaller than yours. That's just because I didn't have enough fabric, so I went ahead and made mine a little bit smaller. You do want yours a little bit larger, though, for the baked potatoes. So then you're going to smooth this out. You may or may not need to iron it. And you're going to go ahead on those same seams that you sewed, you're going to sew another quarter inch. And this is going to help secure your batting from rolling all over the place. You are also going to take that small 2 by 6 inch piece and you're going to fold it over along the length and then you're just going to sew straight down the length, leaving the ends open so you have another skinny little tube. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll be back. So I have a really nice decorative edge here on each side now. And I went ahead and I made my tube, and I've already turned it the right side because we had sewn it up inside out on the one side. This is our small strip. And just as a trick so you know, in case you don't, to turn it inside out easily, I just put a safety pin on one side at one end, and then you stick it through and pull it all the way through to the other end, and it pulls the fabric with. So if you have a thin, narrow tube, that's the best way to turn them inside out. It's quick and easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about three inches in, and I'm going to take this tube we made and fold it in half and put it right about that. And I'm going to fold it over in there. And then I'm going to fold this over. So I have about an inch showing, and I'm going to pin both of these sides now, so it's like that, and sew my seams on each side. And I'm going to go with, it should be a quarter inch, but my batting's coming over a little because I don't sew or cut straight. So I'll probably sew a half inch in seam on both sides, and then We'll be back and we'll be just about done. I've gotten it all sewn up and I turned it right side. So I just put it the right way, punching out my corners to make sure that they're all right, folding it nice and neat so that it's proper like. And there we have it. I have my microwave potato, you say potato bag. And you can see on the other side, my pattern's the right way. I can hang it up. Now I'm going to pop a potato in, and I'm going to set my microwave for two minutes. And then I'm going to take my bag and just turn it over and do another two minutes, because I don't want to do it consecutive with the batting. And I'm going to watch it the first time just to make sure that my wattage will be good with this batting. And then I'm going to eat. Let's eat. Yum. Thank you for joining Scully Designs on day 15 of our everyday project. We hope you'll stay tuned and come back tomorrow. Please join our YouTube channel by subscribing and check out our Facebook page.